and this is what I would urge you to think about, that your model of a positive model and of collaboration and of being empathic with all of the people you serve, one thing you can add to it is using the child's behavior as your, your language. And the second you change to the child's behavior, you begin to draw, reach out for passion, passion that every parent brings to their baby, every parent brings to their older child. And that passion sets up a collaborative relationship with you, with you and as a provider in, in a way that nothing else can do. For instance, so we sh talk about the uh, touch points model now. What I hope we can do is talk you all into thinking about what you're doing already here in Louisville and adding to it this concept of getting below the surface and of thinking about how you can really reach out for people and bring them in and give them a strong self image which they in turn will then pass on to their child. And touch points are times when you can do that. Touch points are times just before spurt and development, which is gonna cost the child a lot. Uh, and each development never goes up like that. Cognitive, motor, emotional development, we all have been taught goes like that. It doesn't. It goes in a burst of learning then leveling off, then another burst, then leveling off. And just before each burst, there's a short period in which the baby falls apart, the child falls apart, uh, won't eat, won't sleep, uh, begins to suck its thumb if they're big enough, uh, is itchy, and parents fall apart with them. So, those are times of vulnerability when we can turn that vulnerability into something positive. Because I, over time, I've developed a systems model that reinforces me that uh, systems theory is different from what we were taught. We were all sort of taught with stimulus response model. You put in a, a stimulus like teaching people what they should do and you expect a response. If it works, if it doesn't work, you try something else and you get a response. Systems theory is more powerful than that. It says every member of the system is in balance with every other member. And if you put a stress on that system, every member has to learn, to learn to succeed or to learn to fail. Now, if we want them to succeed, we have to become part of the system. And as we become part of the system, uh, we have to learn their language, their values, what they bring from their own parenting, their religion, all of that. And in the process, we become part of the system.